Hi there, I'm Michael Choi, and today we're going to discuss how to increase your commission, lower your days on market, and simply by using one method. And the method is replicating your ideal client. Okay? Now, agents call me from all over Australia and they say, Michael, how does your office have 80% market share in your core area? I mean, where most agencies are, you know, are looking towards 20, 25%. Yet, how do you guys have 80% market share? And there's many a reasons, but I simply put it down to replicating the ideal client. Okay? And it all starts off with trust, and I'll run through that with you. Here is um, two diagrams, okay? First diagram, second diagram. I'm going to ask you, out of these two planks of wood that I've drawn, which plank of wood do you think is the longest? Okay? Do you think that this plank of wood is the longest, or do you think that this plank of wood is the longest? Most people would say that this one's the longest. We'll then move on to diagrams two, and I'll ask which uh, line do you think is the longest? Do you think this line is the longest, or this line is the longest? Most people would say that this line is the longest. When in actual fact, if you look at my ruler, there to there, there to there, there to there. These two lines are exactly the same length and these two bl um, planks of wood are exactly the same length. Yet when I take away the ruler you still believe that this one's longer and this one still looks longer. And the reason for that is we see all day. Okay? We trust what we see. Okay? And it's the same with your consumer, your customer, your ideal client. They trust what they can see. Okay? Now, a lot of agents um, sometimes say, I can't increase my commission because the other agency down the road is lowering their commission. They're dropping their pants. And I really think that this is an excuse. It's, it's, it's not a reason. I think that the reason why you can't actually... Um, get the commission that you want is firstly because you don't believe you're worth it or you don't even ask for it. Firstly, you need to ask for it and you need to shoot for it, otherwise you can't get it. But secondly, it's because you're actually going up against the other agents. If you can wipe out the other agents completely, then you can actually charge what you want to charge. Okay? And, and that all comes down to positioning yourself in your local market. It comes down to making sure that you are the agent of choice and making sure that you are the only agent making sure that you are everywhere, that you are the expert in the area, that you are the specialist of Xville, okay? Because the moment that you're that agent, you can charge what you want to charge. You can teach them what is their best marketing that is in their best interest, the, the prospective vendor. You can teach them what is the best method of sale based on their home and their situation. And it's, it all comes down to being the expert, okay? And because they listen, because they listen to you, that is the reason why they get a record price. And because they get a record price, is the reason that you get the next listing in the street, flow on listings. And because those people listen to you, they get a record price, they get a, then you get flow on. So it's a continuous cycle, it's a cycle that you can replicate, you're replicating the ideal client, okay? Now, we, the, the thing about this client is uh, when you get uh, really busy in real estate, when you start listing plenty of houses, um, if you're not one of those agents, you're looking at an agency, in your, a, a sales consultant in your office, and they're doing that, and you're thinking, wow, it just seems so easy, because it actually does get easier. The more, six, the, the more success you have in your office, or the more success you have in a patch, the easier real estate gets, because it's all flow on. You're replicating the ideal client. Okay? You, they listen to you, um, so they get a record price, uh, you get gifts, you get testimonials, you get referrals. Okay? Now, some people say the ideal client it has a particular personality, a particular age, uh, a particular nation nationality, but I disagree. I think the ideal client is someone that sees you as their agent. An ideal client is someone that trusts you, basically, because if they trust you, they'll listen to you. Okay? Now, a listing presentation starts well before you're actually at, at their dining room table because you don't want to be going against other agents. 
you a listing presentation starts at least six months. Most people start searching the market about six months before they're ready to sell. They start looking at um, sales in the area, going to open for inspections, going to auctions. So you need to be in their mind six months before they're ready to sell. Okay. So I, I think of it as marketing share equals mind share. So the more marketing share you have, the more mind share you have in your area. And the more mind share you have in your area, the more market share you will have in your area. I'll say that again. Marketing share equals mind share, which equals market share. Okay? Now, because you, you have their mind share, okay? They make the assumption, your prospective vendor makes the assumption that you know what you are doing. Okay, because you're everywhere, you must know what you're doing. You are successful, you're everywhere, you must be successful. You have track record, once again, you're everywhere, you must be good. You don't, um, you're not everywhere by not doing the right thing. They must be good if they're everywhere. You are the only choice. Okay? And so it's about being everywhere, and their perception becomes their reality, okay? So your group certificate is directly related to how much marketing you do. So uh, it, it's, all, it's all about, um, I suppose, making their perception, their reality. Make sure you do as much marketing as you can. You need to make sure you're not just spilling out your marketing and spraying it out. It needs to be scientific approach. Speak to a, a marketing guru, guru and make sure that your marketing is correct and that it's, it's fitted to your demographic and uh, the moment that they see you everywhere, everywhere they will make the, all these assumptions and the moment they make these assumptions they will trust you because they trust you they will listen to you because they listen to you they will get a record price and because they get a record price you get continuous business and it keeps on going. I'm Michael Choi I hope you enjoyed take care cheers